Bring it out radio show. Bring it out radio show. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out, family. I see you. You can see we're looking a little different today. We got a special show for you today, right? The technology is a little different today. It's the Bring It Out Radio Show. I'm your Chief Minister, Minister Shalomar. We're going to talk about it. We got some topics to talk about, right? So just stay tuned. Get the family in. Get, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, to share. Get in the room. Let's get busy. We got a lot to talk about today. It's the Bring It Out Radio Show. Let's go. Ready, Jay, on the beat. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. What? Check me out. 7, 12, 7, 8, I hit the earth. All praises to the Father for my birth, like the Frankincense and Murph. Now it's fringes on my shirt, cause I put the Father first. Kick my friends to the curb, then I swerve. Ricky Bobby in the streets with the scripts for the lost sheep, like Uber Eats, uh huh. Mask off, I got faith in Hamashiach. Blast off in the space in the chariot. Fornication with the nations, got us waiting for salvation. Just be patient, milk and honey, I can taste it, uh. And where the priest behind? You don't know where you're going, let you know where you come from. Con, victor in my spirit, I spit it and they hear it. The 12 tribes love it, the other nations fear it and clear it. I'ma spit it till it's over with. What is cold? Hell is hot. Prosper in the law, call it jackpot. Never sell your soul, this is who we thought. Martyr for the Lord, he's a juggernaut. I got the bow, I got the hammer. Trust in the Lord, never trust the jump. We in the slums, we in the sticks. On the corners where them brothers drop a couple bricks. But dice with the law, if you live in the sin. The spirit gon' burn with the skin that you win. And the Lord ain't your friend, if you really don't repent. He might just forgive, but it really just depends. You keep going off again and again. You should really chase the kingdom, but you rather buy them rims. If you living as a criminal, the Lord will apprehend. Cause you love living with you just to chase them different things. Please don't hold the L, cause we looking for wins. I hold my head high as that boat starts to bend. You running out of time, bro, don't be a fool. You drowning in your sins, don't drown in the pool. You love living high, but I call that thing a crap rock. Bring the smoke to the room, I guess that's a hot pot. He ruined my blood, I'm born in Florida. If you keep sinning, boy, it's nice knowing you. Yeah. Better grab the tool, yeah. Ain't just gonna be cruel, don't be screwed, they will kill ya. Better live your life, find the wife, sound familiar. Love the hundred lives in the life that we still there. Yeah. I be like, oh yeah, Israelite, like, oh yeah. Speaking only truth in the booth, I'm a truth prayer. Let your light shine, you'll be fasting up the lost prayer. If you deny, you might die for this nightmare. You was born away, not to live in sin. Will you go repent? It's not now the win. Patient wearing thin, sin is not the trend. You was born away, not to live in sin. Will you go repent? It's not now the win. Patient wearing thin, sin is not the trend. What you say, Kadashin, is not the trend. I keep right, but it's a wave to slave to your sin. It's cool to break the laws, lit to turn on God. That's what they show you to you. See, it's really a facade. Shout out my brothers in this walk, we moving like the mob. And when I'm going off, they let me know I'm going off. On me, sure, I think you doing too much showing off. My dog got killed off of jealousy, he like the floss. Exodus 2017, that's really us. Our people strung on fed and mean, smoking weed ain't enough. That's why we on them street corners right there by the bus. Doing the work of y'all, my brother, that's a must. I had to learn temptation is bigger than some lust. I'm I'm in this walk forever, my nigga, till I'm dust. And every time I understand the scripture, it's a run. Not to live in sin. Will you go repent? It's not now the win. Patient wearing thin. Sin is not the trend. You was born away, not to live in sin. Will you go repent? It's not now the win. Patient wearing thin. Sin is not the trend. So this is the Bring It Out Radio Show. We gonna get right into it. It's a little, like I said, a little different setup today, but we're gonna talk about. It. We got some stuff to talk about. Got a special guest coming on. We're looking forward to rapping with the brother. You know, it's a, you know, family, the family affair today, right? But the topic we're talking about, Cap, today we're talking about reality, uh, or I should say, perception versus reality, right? right? Perception versus reality. Because a lot of people, they hang their hat on or they, they make decisions on things they don't really, they just perceive things. They look, they see something and they kind of make up the narrative. You know, we live in a society of, of um, 
social media, and people tend to make it their own reality because of something they perceived or something they saw, never really knowing the truth, right? And they come across like if it's true, right? They're like they like they really come across like they had the source, like they really spoke and got this information that we know. That's one of the things Torah teaches us what not to do, right? A lot of our people, we got a lot of bad behavior in this world, but you know, it takes situations to bring out certain information, right? right? If certain situations didn't happen, that's why I know the most high, he's a mathematical genius. He'll make something happen just to bring something out, just to show people, you know, their ill of their ways, how they fall short. He'll bring a situation to the forefront to make us talk about it, right? That's why you say in their affliction, they shall seek me early. Right. So when things happen, it makes us talk about it, it makes us check ourselves and, and kind of reason with ourselves and say, man, is this, am I thinking right? Is this, is this straight? Is this how we're supposed to deal? Right? So we're going to talk about it today, perception versus reality. You saw it in the thumbnail. Right, throw that thumbnail up on the screen if you can. Oh, you have the access to that. Right? You see the thumbnail, it's a battle, it's a fight. Some people are living off perception and not reality. Just perceiving things. Well, I think it's like this. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw that picture, so it must be this. Right? So we live in a, we live in a, in a uh, what's that, that program y'all used to be, uh, that we used to, to be uh, like putting one body on another thing? Photoshop. Photoshop. We live in a we live in a Photoshop uh, a society mm -hmm. where if people if people say, "Well, I don't see it, I don't believe," you, but now you can't believe your eyes, right? That was a was that was, was that I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe my eyes, right? The things that we see, we can't even believe what we see. Right? You know, uh, we have to check the source. We have to be responsible with one another. We have to be responsible with this word. We have to be responsible with our nation. Right? We owe it to one another to see things out. We owe it to one another to to uh, to have each other's back in this kingdom. Right? We come on this line. We stand up for righteousness. Everybody stands against us. Right? You got the Christians, the, the Muslims, the, the, the nations. You got Egyptologists. The Egyptologists. You got Kemet. You got uh, uh, you know Baptist, Methodist, seven disadvantages. You're all the wickedness. You also have um, the hood, the hood want to stand against it. The hood that we trying to 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 to, uh, to rise up. We trying to give them glory. We trying to give them righteousness. They don't want to be against it. How, then how is it when we know everybody's against what we do, bringing out the word of the Most High? You know, face reality. A lot of people hate God, right? Mm -hmm. They don't want nothing to do with Him. All His concepts, all His word. How can we then be responsible and be against each other too? Right? Who's gonna where, where's the the camaraderie? You know what I mean? Where's the brotherhood? Where's the where's the net the, 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 the nationhood? We devour one another. Right. That don't make no sense. That's twisted, right? You should be thinking like, damn, I should be, you know, it's like as bad as dealing with my, you know, you might have some family members. And they might get in your last nerve, but at the end of the day, you say, well, that's family, right? You ain't going to go get no stranger and put him over your family. You know what I mean? Well, we'll go to another nation and then try to put them over our own people. Right? We have no kind of loyalty. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, we're going to deal with issues. We'll deal with issues in-house. You know what I mean? If Israel got a problem, Israel will deal with Israel's own problems. If there's a problem. But we ain't going to be trying to put each other on glass and, and, and and make a grandstand on our brother because we think we got something. Make an accusation, trying to make a name up for ourselves or someone else's name. That's not the way. The scriptures say we're not supposed to build on any man's foundation. We ain't supposed to be trying to get a uh, 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 line like cloud. Cloud. That's why we say cloud. Right? Cloud oh, cheese. Oh, oh. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> off, of, off of another brother. And whatever he might be going to, or, what, or, or, or even just a perception of something. Right. Right. Let's get 
you know how we do. Colossians 3, verse 17, before we can get in, before we get nitty gritty into the conversation. Like I said, we got a special, special, special guest coming on in a few. You know what I mean? Uh, we're looking forward to ready to get on, and get on, and get down. And then, brother, you know, you know, you know how to get down in the scriptures, so we're going to talk about it. All right? Let's get Colossians 3, verse 17. Let's start right the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Adam and Yahushai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him. Right. Giving all praise to the Most High and the name of the Most High and Always. Right. We, um, stay in Colossians. Read Colossians 2 and verse 6. Because a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they use excuses to, to, to uh, justify certain behaviors. But if you're really in your house, shot, you're really in my shot, your house, shot, they said, my shot, your house, Amongst his people, right? We can't take technology together, family. We'll check this out. The book of Colossians, chapter two and verse six. Yep. Has he have re therefore received Hamashiach Yahushai the other one? Right. So walk ye in him. So do what? Walk ye in him. So if we receive Yahushai, we always everybody said they believe in Christ, right? He says so. Walk in him. Do what he did. Where did you ever see Yahushai having accusations? Against uh, some uh, other brethren. That's right. When 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 was that? Right. When did they see that? Now they saw all kind of people come around him. Mm -hmm. But wherever Israel was, he was there. That's right. He didn't make no clubhouse chat talking about nobody off no accusation. Right. That's wherever right. Wherever Israel was, he was there. He went up in the synagogue. He dealt with them. They didn't believe in the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. They didn't believe in the Son of the Most High. He still dealt with them. Mm -hmm. Right. So he didn't make himself. Of any separatist to the nation, right? Matter of fact, he said he came for a certain type of sheep, right? We don't get that in a minute, right? He came for a certain type of Israelite, right? He didn't come. He, he told us about it. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna get to that next. The Book of Colossians, chapter two and verse six. Go ahead. Has he have therefore received Hamashiach Yahushai the other one? So walk ye in him. Go ahead. Rooted and built up in him. Rooted and built up in him. That means you got to study. How he operated, and you got to be rooted up and built up in Hamashiach. Right, Sorry, rooted and booted. That's right. right. And mm -hmm. really, to be in Yahushua, you got to be in the whole book. That don't start in Matthews, like like they may have taught you in Sunday school, right? To be in Yahushua, he said, "Behold, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me." He also told us in Luke twenty four forty four, if you correct, that Moses wrote about him, right? So for you to be in your house side, you got to be in the whole book. You got to be living according to the commandments uh, as it is written in the book. Right? You can't be making it up as you go along. Right. right. Read on. Rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, mm -hmm. as he had been taught abounding therein with thanksgiving. Go ahead. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Right. After tra the tradition of men. Right. After the rudiments of the world and not after Hamashiach. Right. So after the rudiments of this world and not after Hamashiach. Yeah, after the standards and the things that how people operate in this world. So how do people out? What's the rudiments of this world? That we live in? Hot girl summer. <laughs> City girl spring. <laughs> What's sad, brothers, sad, brother <laughs> sad brother winter. Right? <laughs> What's the rudiments of this world? How does this world operate? Well, this world, you know, in this social media society that we're living in, how do people operate? Everything, they believe everything they see. Right. They just believe stuff, right? Esau with his tell live vision. The long thing came out with his tell live vision, right? And 
Now we got YouTube, this tube, that tube, and we just believe everything that we see, right? We don't question anything, right? If it's on, oh yeah, I saw it. Oh, it's true, I saw it. If you tell you, they try to uh, 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 tell people there was 200, uh, uh, was 150 foot tall men and they found the bones mm -hmm. and they have a picture next to the bones and you <laughs> and people believe that foolishness when they see it. No, no, no common sense, no perception of, of wisdom or intellect. They just rock with it. That's right. That's the kind of society you live in. The people just rock with it. They you call know, it, you know. You know, just to uh, you know, land me back a little bit, add some mm -hmm. you know, turkey tassel, some prickles on this. Um, when I read Colossians 2 and 8, one of the things that stick out to me, it says, after the tradition of men. Mm -hmm. Now, in a lot in the scriptures, there is certain traditions that we see in the scriptures, but it's tradition. I remember Captain Bob said this, and it's so heavy. There's nothing wrong with tradition, but we can't try to equate it to be as greater than the Most High's commandments right. or make it equal to the Most High's commandments. Right. Because within Israel, a lot of things that's tradition or maybe a tradition within a certain camps, they get esteemed as if they're the commandments of the Most High God. Right. Like we become Christians. We're not Christians. Right. We go out in the streets and we say we're not written religion. We're not no Christians. But for some of, we always, some of us always find ourselves esteeming tradition and making it equal or greater to the commandments of the Most High. Right. You know, so I just wanted that's to a, add on that's to that. That's a powerful point. because, And that's a, let's call it what it is. We got brothers you know. that say, yo, your fringes don't look like mine right. growing up, right? When the scripture said to put fringes on the borders of your garment, right? Mm -hmm. But because my fringes might be uh, uh, leather and yours is fabric, mm -hmm. my fringes is off or your fringes is on. Or, oh, you don't got real fringes on, right? right? You're a fake Israelite. You're a fake Israelite because you ain't got the real fringes, <laughs> right? These are traditions of men. You know, oh, I heard another one say, oh, those are not garments. You know, you can't put fringes on your T-shirt. Oh, you got to have fringes on your pants. Oh, you didn't. When did we become so religious? Right? The scriptures clearly gave us instructions. We followed the instructions. Mm -hmm. We interpret the instruction and followed it. Right. Right? Whether brother wearing his four corners or he got his full fringe on or whatever, his garment, his garment down to the foot or... It's a tunic type garment or it's a t shirt with fringes. He's wearing his fringes. You get the point, right? The border of blue is on. You're getting the point. Right. But like you're saying, traditions of men. You know what I mean? Oh, he wrapped his Mitri to the right with I wrap it. What difference does it make? <laughs> wrap your Mitri and put your bonnet on, put your heritage on, step out. You know, my chef, yeah, I was. That's right. Sure. All right. So that's a, that's, a, that's a powerful point of traditions. Because traditions don't stop. We still even, there's new traditions being made all the time. That's right. Right? As technology changes and this, the landscape, this world changes, traditions change. Right? We were talking about it earlier, like music, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up in Brooklyn. Uh, so I listened to hip-hop, reggae, uh, you know, from Caribbean parents. So I'm listening to, you know, uh, even Soka, even Matata, Merengue. I had all those people <laughs> around me, right? I got down with all of it. That's right. But that's my environment, and that's traditionally what I listen to. Mm -hmm. So now you come to this truth, you make truth music, you're going to make it according to those, the root of what you know. Right, you're going to bring that style in, right? right. You're not going to make country music, truth music, right? We of us listen to no country music, mm -hmm. right? Or, you know, some of us might listen to jazz. You might want to throw some jazz. Or but we didn't listen to a lot of it. I know I didn't listen to a lot of it. I know a little something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some cold trains, some, some miles or whatever. But it's tradition. It's not the law or not the law. Or oh, you can't be listening to hip hop. That's, that's what you're talking about. As long as they, you know, I can understand the subject matter. You want to keep the subject matter above board. Um, you know, you want to put glory to the highest in everything that you do. So I get that. That's why two music is so powerful, because we get to hear the music that we traditionally listen to. However, we put in glory to the highest in the same same time. You know what I mean? You can't beat that. You know what I mean? That's a win-win, you know, as far as we understand. So these traditions that we hold so tight onto, you know, we got to be mindful of that, that we don't esteem them as the commandments for the most high. That's right. Right. 
that we don't end up doing that. All right, so, um, and uh, yeah, get out next two verses and we'll get out of this. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, bodily. Come on. And you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Right. You're complete. As long as you're rolling according to our Mashiach roll, you're complete. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. Um, Matthew 5, uh, 10 and 5. Right. Yeah, I spoke a little bit about who he came for. Right. Um, knowing that he didn't come for those who knew. He didn't come for those that, 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 that knew what's up. Right. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 5. Well, he sent his disciples. It's 10 and 5. Right? Also, give me a Matthew 10, 15, 24. But give me this one. Okay. These 12, Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and then into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Go ahead. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go ahead. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is where? Is at hand. It's for you. The kingdom right. of heaven is for you. Is that your hands? Who's the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Why were they lost? Because they was caught up in all kinds of traditions of men. They were caught up in all kinds of traditions of Rome. Right now, our people is caught up in all kinds of traditions of America. Mm -hmm. That's where we need to be. That's where the light needs to be. That's where our soldiers need to be. That's where, you know, where's the light most value? In the midst of the darkness, right? Why would the light all gather together and stay in one place? We need to venture out where the darkness is as a family. Read that. Um, Matthew 15. I got a piece of for you. Uh -huh. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Go ahead. And he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we're for the lost ones. That's right. Right. We're for the ones that don't know better. We're for the ones that need to do better. So when you see us in the midst of them, don't quick to say, they're, they're affecting us. Maybe we're affecting them. And sometimes you don't even got to. It's just how you carry yourself is affected, right? You uh -huh. don't have to say nothing sometimes. Sometimes you just got to be in the midst of them. Mm -hmm. And they, you, you're just different. That's right. Your pants ain't sagging. That's right. You know what I mean? You're not, uh, uh, you know, all out of control. You're moving with, with an order. Your spirit is showing. Your light is showing. Your speech. In your speech, they're hearing something different. Right, just being in the midst of them. That's right. All right, what you hold? All right. Um, the next one is Matthew, chapter nine. I got a little, I got a little lamb chop. I want to add on to that. Okay. Um, the book of Matthew, chapter nine, verse ten. Huh? Later, Matthew. This is in the NLT as well. Later, Matthew invited Yahushai and his disciples to his home. Has dinner guests along with many tax collectors and other dis disreputable sinners. What kind of people? Disreputable sinners. Right. Where did he invite them to? Uh, dinner. As dinner guests. As dinner guests at his crib. All right. Read that again. Later, Matthew invited Yahushua and his disciples to his home. Mm -hmm. As dinner guests, along with many tax collectors and disreputable sinners. Right. So he, they all had a, a banquet together. Right. They had Imagine a brunch. That. <laughs> right. Nowadays, if somebody had a social media going, mm -hmm. they'd be like, oh, look. How was that going on? Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> what the fuck is doing in there? What are they doing amongst those people? Right? Do you see how crazy that is? That's right. Right? Do we see how nuts that is? To be thinking <laughs> that we can't be in the midst of our people unless they move a certain way, they think a certain way. Where we need to be everywhere. That's I was up in this, you know? We were up in the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be having my fringes on. And sister came up on oh, Steve, got your fringes on, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No matter where you go, you gotta show our people that listen, you can you you can dwell, you can you can uh, operate in righteousness in this hellish captivity. You don't have to not because you open up your spirit to the most highest commandments, you go and go go get a damn house and a damn stick somewhere, mm -hmm. right? With you and the goats and the lambs and the deers, because mm -hmm. now you can't be around society. Right. That, no, well, nowhere does I see that in the scriptures. Right. There's, and there's more to it. Too. So Mashiach didn't operate that way, obviously, as we read it right here. Right? Read on. Verse 11. 
But when the Pharisees saw this, they asked the, the, his disciples, uh -huh. why does your teacher eat with such scum? With, with such what? With such scum. Man, these guys got a lot of nerve. Look at him. He's look just there him. chilling to himself, drinking out, chilling with the brothers. And look at those girls going off. Going off. Going off. That's what these niggas are saying. Oh, it's crazy. Right, read on. <laughs> when Yahweh I heard this, he said, uh -huh. healthy people don't need a doctor. It's, come on. Sick people do. That, that's what I mean, how, how how to the earth is that? Healthy people don't need a doctor, right? Sick people need a doctor. That's people right. that are in need of the light, right? That's where the light is most precious. That's where it's most needed. All right. Yeah, so I'm about to add him up right now. All right. So we got our guest, our special guest in the house, right? My brother from another mother, right, the Levitical Z right. Z B himself. That's you know right. what it is. All right. Oh, Y'all can hear me? Yeah, I'm mute him. Uh, I think you hear me? Yeah, He's a hold on. Okay. Oh, we got clear balls on. Yeah. Can you hear me now? The volume, you won't. You hear me? Oh, he, yeah, we heard him. He was, he was, his voice was going good. Okay, yeah, we got you now. We got you here. He's, he's, he left. He's about to come right back on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we were only going to raise one volume in oh, here. Wow. <laughs> I'll right, be back on in a second. Right? That man needs no introduction. But he'll be back in a second. We're going to keep it rolling because... We discussed this thing, man. This thing is crazy, right? Uh, perception versus reality. Mm -hmm. A lot of people losing that fight because their imaginations run wild, right? But it's our responsibility when people's imagination run wild to put to to bring them back to reality, right? right? Yes, Give me um um uh, First Corinthians ten. First Corinthians ten verse five. I'm going to, to to beam them back down. When they start flying with what they think they saw or what they believe to be right, we got to beam them back down. All right. People start beaming in the space with Captain Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> right, they, take what, they take one thing and, and be running with it. Man. The ahead. book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 5. Yeah. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh mm -hmm. and bringing into captivity. Every thought, to every what? Mean, every thought. Right, we're gonna bring into captivity every thought. We're not gonna let none slide, right? If it ain't Yahweh Shai, if it ain't the kingdom, if it ain't Hebrew, it ain't nothing. Right. And if we're not, if we're not going to bat for each other, right? If we're not trying to build, then we tearing down. Why are we tearing down? We've been torn down. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to be healed, brought up, brought together. Enlightened, raised up, right? Not because the Most High opened up the word to you a little something, mean that what well, now you are the uh, you the Hebrew of Hebrews, you the Hebrew of Hebrews now, right? Right? You know, what I mean, like people always blame the person working, mm -hmm. but when the people are watching the person work, they don't ever do nothing wrong. You know why? Because they don't do nothing, right? You can't you can't even mess something up if you're not doing nothing, right? But if you're in the work. And you might do something that's a little, you know, oh, man, maybe we shouldn't have did that. No, we ain't going to destroy you in the work. That's right. You know what I mean? You, your hand is on the plow. There's one thing if you're going to push up your fingers on the keyboard and you're not doing nothing. <laughs> you're that's, not doing nothing. That's, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How, so, oh, I didn't do that. That's because you don't do nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you ain't mess up because you don't, you you ain't up at all. Right? But, so we're going to bring every thought every thought into captivity. Read on. Verse 6. And having in, re in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Exactly. So we have in a readiness to avenge all disobedience. You know why? Because our obedience is in, you know, we, we, we don't do this just on the weekend. This is an everyday lifestyle. Right. right? This is an everyday lifestyle. So that's why we can stand up and we can point the finger. We can say something because 
we're on each other case. You can't tell me something about me that I haven't told myself. Right? Right. We 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 iron sharpen of iron. So we forever critiquing each other, right? Checking on each other, checking on each other's spirit. That's what we do around here. That's why we got camps and schools. So everybody have, we have brethren around them to help them check their spirit. Right. You don't have nobody around you. Of course, you always right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The scripture say ways of man is right in his own eyes. Right. So if you if you are a, a party of one, right, and nobody's around you to check you, then what? You always right by default. You know what I mean? Even when you're wrong, you're right. 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 So this is a part of the problem amongst our people that we don't just see the value in, 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 in us as just being a nation. We got to see the value in it. We got to see the value in the camaraderie. We got to see the value in the communication. Right. We got to see the value in just being there for each other as brethren. You know what I'm saying? Um, and not be so quick to tear down and destroy, you know what I mean, or to cast blame. All right, let me get that aha scripture, man. All right, um, um, Psalms. All right. What happened to the Hebrew? We got a, a technical yeah, difficulty. Right oh, he back? Now. All right. All right. Before we get that. All praises. Con, con, con. All right, hallelujah. So I was just I was just buttering up the bread a little bit, running yes, my mouth as usual, you know, about what's going on in the nation. But you know, uh just talking about it, basically, talking about it, you know, just you know, that's what we gotta do as a people. We gotta reason things out so we understand what's going on, right? Okay. So talk to me, Alizo. What's going on in, in, in your neck of the woods? What's going on in GA? Man, uh, you know, a whole lot of madness. Man, this whole lot of uh, whole lot of teaching got to be done, you know, and uh, we we just been out here doing it, you know, putting boost. Hey, me, I'm good. Man, this is crazy. Hold on. Go ahead, Ock. We got you. We good? I'm good? Con, con, con. Right, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it's just a whole lot of madness going on. So, you know, we just we just out here trying to make sure we we building this kingdom one brick at a time through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Shah man. And you know, we've been called to be fishers of men. So, you know, we just we just out here fishing, you know, nonstop. Con, 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 all praises, man. And you, you, you know, I know you basically heard where I was going with it. Um you know, just the maturity of how to deal with a nation. We got to, you know, we, we are babe when it comes to being a nation, right? We, we, fi we figured out how to be a camp. We figured out how to be a school, right? We kind of figuring out how to be a community. We're not that good at it yet. But now the Mosai is bringing us through all, he's bringing us back to being a nation. And nations operate a certain way. You know what I mean? There's the nobles, there's, there's different offices, there's different operations of the nation. Everybody can't do the same thing. Right. Right? Your job, you're doing yours, right? We got to do ours. This next buff is over there, they got to do theirs, right? And at the end of the day, we all built, we're building that nation, right? And I think that that religious mind state keeps, uh, keeps infiltrating what we're trying to do. Yeah, that religious mind state because we was in the church, you know, we might have been on basketball team, soccer team, we might have been in gangs, we might have been, right. you know, what I mean, I was I growing up, my block, we ain't rock with the block next to us. Anything would pop off, it was going down, right? And then everybody that was on this block was against everybody that was on that block. Why? <laughs> I can't tell you why. We live <laughs> around the corner. What difference is no it? Reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was. If you wasn't with 38, you was all 37. Now nah, we don't rock with 37. We're on 38. You're on 37. What difference does it make? Right? But there was, you know, gunplay and everything over those two streets. Right? So that mentality got to quit. 
we got to quit that mentality. And it's going to take those that's in the forefront to show and prove, not just talk about it, right. be about it, right? Show it. Okay? So they can say, well, look at these brothers, right? They're not in the same school. They're not part of the same camp. But you can't find no schism, no, 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 no issue here, right? You know, Rob, y'all was up. That's my dude right here. You know what I mean? Down here. So it, it's the same, same less. You know what I mean? So it, it 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 never it never phases us, you know. And you know, situations. So let's let's you said you had a scripture? Yeah. Let me get your scripture first and then we're gonna put it on the table. The book of First Corinthians, chapter twelve, verse twelve. Mm-hmm. For as the body is one and have many members, mm-hmm. and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also in Hamashiach. Just to let me back on what you were saying, right? Mm-hmm. We're all going to have different operations, but we're still one people. Right, right, so. right. So there's certain people. Um, what the Hebrew you going to reach, right? They don't want to hear this old dude right here, man. You know what I mean? I'm from a different time, a different walk. And then there's some old dudes that ain't trying to hear what you got to say either. Right? They need to hear from, they looking at they looking at your bed, they don't see no grace. You know what I mean? So they ain't trying to hear what you got to say. And it's, you know, it's, it's the reality of it, I, you know? Um, so I know my place. I'm not going, I'm not going to be, I'm not going you know, I'm not gonna be uh, what's that in the club with some some uptowns and some uh, or some. Give me give me some of them name brands. I don't know name brands no more. Some Blinciagas. <laughs> I'm not gonna be. You're not gonna see that. You know what I mean? Brazilian lace front. You know, I, I don't think no man should wear no damn lace front, right? So you ain't gonna see that from me, right? Yeah. Um, not my place. Um. You know, we, we roll in the in the in the office that was given to us, the time that was given to us. Right. You know, um, so I respect the brothers that's you know in their in their prime years that's doing that's 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 dedicated their life to this truth in their prime years, you know. I know that's not easy because I was there 20 years ago, right? I was 20 in the truth, <laughs> I was 18 in the truth. I know what goes down. I know what's going on, right? Ain't no new spirits, but there's new technology out here. You know? That's it. Just the technology. <laughs> That's, That's all it's it. <laughs> the spirit. spirit is the same. The spirit is the same. So I was there. And I think a lot of times, um, even back in those days, we didn't have social media. So unless you was there, you didn't know what went down. Right, you heard a little story. The story <laughs> might be embellished, you know, but now that camera is rolling, and we gotta be. I guess we gotta be mindful of it, but it's still we can't let it trip us up. You know, what I mean, we can't be sweating it. You know, what I mean, we can't oh. be you know, letting it hamper our spirit. You know, what I mean, um, as a leader in the in the, in the community. A pillar in the community, as you are, you know, as a, uh, you know, um, it, I know it comes with great responsibility, you know, 24 7. How you do it? How you do it with your house, your family, your wife, your this, your that? Everything is under scrutiny, and, and that scrutiny is only magnified through uh, social media, right? Um, now it's like the world is watching, you know. Um, where in times past it was the neighborhood or who knew you or who was around, so how you got down, you know. Um, it's it's it could it's good and bad, you know. Um, you know you reach a lot of people, which is a good thing, you know. And um, you know, in this latest, uh, I guess this video that aired, you know, um, what's the name? Of, where, where we where where? Let's, let's talk about it a little bit, so we can. We could quench the the, the curiosity, right? The aha, huh. <laughs> right? The aha <laughs> spirit, right? Um, what was the name of this place that you guys were chilling at? The place we was at is a place called Vods V O D S here in Atlanta. It's a one side, it's a lounge; the other side, it's a restaurant. 
Okay. So the side we was on was a, was a lounge side. Okay. So this is a lounge restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, in ATL. I guess somebody uh, videoing and what I saw, a video that I saw, I don't know if there's more than one video, but the video that I saw, it swung to the right. I saw uh, a gorilla was vibing and it swung to the, to the left and there were some cheeks out, right? The buns was out. The buns was out. The buns was released, right? <laughs> a Burger King was there. All right. <laughs> right? But I was, I was chopping it up with the captain. You know, funny thing we were talking about, because sometimes we'd be hitting the gym, mm -hmm. getting the reps in, you know, getting right, right. you know, and all, it, it'd be straight madness in there sometimes. Sisters ain't got no filter in there sometimes, right? And I could imagine, I could see me being in the gym, getting my reps in, and some, the camera swings to the left, I'm doing push-ups, and it swings to the right, and she got yoga pants on, right? Am I off? We're going to the gym and get my work out. Brother, you're supposed to know in the spirit you shouldn't be in that place. Oh, okay. <laughs> Con. Con. That's a that's a big sensor right there. You must be putting a lot of frankincense and myrrh. <laughs> you must put the frankincense in the sensor. Right? You ain't supposed to be smoking it, right? So that doesn't make no sense. That yeah. makes no sense. It's not logical. It's not reality. Um. You know, a lot of people talk about back in the days, weren't there, I was there. We went out. We went places. You know what I mean? Real talk. Some of the people that can sit there and act like they didn't, yeah, you did, right? Cutting up, yeah, you sure you did. Offerings, all that. You know what I mean? Like, why? But we, but the times were different. So, you know, the receipts is left back there, right? Okay. Um, and not saying that, we should frequent these establishments or not. I mean, I know as a body, as a nation, we're looking to to build everything for our own. We're not there yet, though. You know what I'm saying? Um, restaurants are in the works. You know, we always talk about it down here. We need to build some places that, you know, with a dress code. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but while we're on planet Earth, right, and the Earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked, Everywhere you go, you go to Walmart and get your eyes put out. So, yeah, I, I don't. So like, I don't know where these people are living at, man. But I know how Atlanta, and you know, I've I, I frequented down there in in Broward and Dade County, and uh, you you ain't say as soon as you leave the house, man, you ain't say. <laughs> <laughs> There's no filter down here. You know what I mean? Um, you know, that's just the the the, the culture of this. Place, but it's not like we're going around saying this is good. We're not. We're advocating it. We just have to experience it like everyone else. You know what I mean? We're not advocating our sisters to be dressed a certain way. You know what I mean? You know, I, I didn't see any money being thrown in the video. I didn't see nobody throwing shekels. <laughs> I saw those shekels being thrown from the brother. I done made it. You know, allegedly, this is nothing. Brother, people want to talk about. He done took the tie money and threw it. You <laughs> <laughs> went to the temple and the tax money. Yeah, like, where, like, come on, man. Like, come on. And you know what kills me about Israel is, as much you know, and and not not to boast the works, but as much work as brothers have done, brothers mm -hmm. can't even get the benefit of the doubt that maybe there is some context that needs to be given to the situation, or we need to understand. People mm -hmm. just want to run with a scandal, you know, and a narrative. And it's, you know, it's like, come on, y'all. Like, we done went as far as, far as you know, especially strip clubs, which, of course, they we're accusing it of. We done rent from Miami, Atlanta, um, L.A., and we've went in front of these strip. We, we, we made a strip club in Atlanta. They closed down for the night because of the damage that we did through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shemi. I was shot to their establishment. All praise so, so, you know, it's all praise to the most high. So, it's like, Come on, y'all. Y'all think like, and and again, like I, I showed, I show I was me and Hassan in in the same place earlier in the night. So if, if I'm operating on some, you know, secretly, this is what I be doing when 
nobody ain't looking. Well, why would I have already publicized our type of establishment already? If if if, if it was that, I just feel like, you know, our people just aren't even being logical. Like you said, they in this in this, you know, this this um spirit. You know what I mean? Where it's like, oh my God, this and that. I had people call me like, you know, I, you know, when you go out, you should just, you know, move and 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 and, and you know, kind of avoid. Can't. It's like. I hear brothers on one hand with that, but then now I feel like I'm doing something wrong because I got to keep it a secret. That's right. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't like feeling like that because I don't, I don't feel like if I felt like it was wrong, I just wouldn't do it at all. Right. So I don't want to feel like, you know what I mean? It, it, it's kind of that line and I, I understand what brothers are saying, but at the same time, like, well, if I'm keeping it a secret, then I must not be moving right then. Right. So if, so should I have to keep it a secret? So those are some of the, some of the battles just dealing with some of this, you know, um, all, all the, the, the criticism and all everybody in the spirit of, um, you know, Exodus 23 and one and two, right. you know, they just raising this false report and, and a multitude joining the multitude to do it. And mm -hmm. nobody sees it. And then when I confront everybody with it, nobody acknowledges that they've done that in this situation. Right. They just go, well, well, why were you there though? Now I got you're you're in sin, but I gotta ask the questions. But you're in sin. <laughs> right, right, right. And I mean that behavior is uh, uh last is is historic in, in Israel. We that Psalms, right? Um they they dealt with David the same way, as great a king as he was, they dealt with him the same way. So those spirits are still here, but you know, we don't, we're not going to appease them by allowing them to prevent us from doing that which we know is right. Just like we were just reading, yeah, I was shy in, in Matthews, but going by Luke's spot, he sat down, he made a banquet with them, you know, uh, disreputable people, you know, and they made a banquet and sat and, and, and talked and, and ate and reasoned. Somebody would have put that on blast, right? And said, look at these cats is off, right? And he said he's the Christ. And he said he's the Christ. He's the Christ. And he's sitting yeah. with these cats. You know? <laughs> they, they would have judged what every what you got. Um, I'm talking verse 12. Okay. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, and verse 12. Mm -hmm. For innumerable evils have come past me about. Mm -hmm. My iniquities have pulled upon me mm -hmm. so that I am not able to look up. Mm -hmm. They are more than the hairs of my head. Go ahead. Therefore, my heart faileth me. Be pleased, O Yahweh, to deliver me. O Yahweh, make haste to help me. Right. Let them be ashamed and confounded together that seek after my soul to destroy it. Right. Let them be driven backward and be put to shame that wish me evil. That wish what? That wish me evil. Right. So David was experiencing this. He said, I, listen, I've been through stuff. I've done things. But listen. I'm looking for the same salvation that everybody else is looking for. Right. I'm here with you trying to help you get to where we all trying to go. We all trying to get out of here. Right? Nobody, nobody saying, oh, they just love Babylon. They just love, you know, oh, this place is great. You know, come down here. It's a great establishment. You're not throwing commercials for the spot saying, listen, you know, this is this is just the way to go. This place is contaminated the scriptures say this is not our rest right it's not our rest so we we get a little minute here or a minute there to 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 to, to get a load off but we know that this is no place for right. you know for us to be uh exalting right so david is going through the same thing check it out read on verse 15 mm -hmm. let them be desolate for a reward yep of their shame that say unto me Aha! Uh -huh. What they say? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew them brothers was wicked. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew something was going on with that brother. Right? Where are we going with this? That's right. Right. There's no new spirit under the sun. It's right there in the scriptures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like yeah. You know, I remember hearing hearing the whole situation like well, I think earlier in the day, and when I'm hearing it, I'm like, yo, I, I went out with Alazar before me and Chaplain Tazayan. And anybody who knows Captain Tazayan, well, he'll talk. He'll talk about you two times a year mm -hmm. amongst people. And for him to go to the club, that should show, or go out, that should show something because we was out there, we, we was just vibing, sipping, and we was talking, mm -hmm. just dwelling in brotherhood and sisterhood. Mm -hmm. 
Our people get it conflated and think that, you know, you can't go to these things because they're going to do what they do. You can go, but you just don't do what they do. Just don't break the commandments. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm. But when I heard it, I had to call the brother. And when, when, I, when he picked up, he just, you know, they were laughing. I see that I already know what's going on. And like you said, the same way, if I go to a restaurant and everybody in that restaurant, if they ordering crab and lobster, I, I know I'm governed by the law. I follow the laws of the most high. Mm -hmm. I'm, everybody in the whole restaurant can. Let me tell you something. Right? I posted a picture today. Uh, I went, I, I went up to PA. My niece was graduating. Right. And, um, you know, I, I, and I looked across the table and somebody had a ham sandwich. I said, damn, man, they're eating a ham sandwich, man. And here I am sitting. Now, are they going to make a, a fuss about that? <laughs> I posted a picture. Somebody had a ham sandwich on, on, the, on the thing. I'm eating turkey. Am I now uh, as guilty as a ham sandwich eater? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Now, mind you, it, it's... <laughs> I mean, our, our, our people, is, it's just the same because that because we know eating a ham sandwich is a sin. We know mm -hmm. that. That is a 100% plain, open the book, no interpretation. Somebody eating a ham sandwich has broken the laws of God, right? But, I, but I'm sitting across the table from somebody who did and knows my position on the, on, on the consumption of pork, right? Mm -hmm. But are, is that going to get scandalized, right? Right. Is somebody else, is somebody who's pointing the finger at me for being in a particular establishment, are they rebuking the person who's sitting across from them who might be eating an abomination? Right. That's my question. Because if not, it, it's all this thing here. You go out into this world, these people, they're not following the commandments. You are. Your job is to maintain your integrity and right. keep the commandments of the Most High God. That's right. our job, right? And the thing what people don't understand about me is in the 10 years old i didn't drink before i came into i don't part i would have the vow to nazarite but even before i took the vow i never indulged in the consumption so i'm never in this position where oh i'm drinking i'm feeling it maybe my inhibitions got lowered now i'm tempted to go this way come on man mm -hmm. i don't operate like that now you a brother may be out there and say well i don't know if i could go there because i might get tempted into brother that's you Everybody has a different measure of strength and spirit. But as for me, <laughs> I, I don't walk into any establishment and go, damn, that crab's looking good. Damn, that girl's looking good. I should go. I want to go have a one night stand with that one. Let me throw some ones at this girl uh, 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 gyrating over there. That's not the spirit that I'm, I'm never in that spirit. Right. And, you know, we, we, we dwell in unity. It's funny sometimes we look at. I've been in them type of establishments and I've, I've looked at a brother I'm with and spoke to him and go, these people don't even know what's going on right now in the world, right? Mm -hmm. But what are, what are we supposed to do? Just let them not know what's going on, right? Or should we try to reach some of these people again, like I've been saying, some of these same people who would have maybe walked right past the camp. Right. If you see the camp, I don't know about, I don't know what they got going on. Let me keep going. Mm -hmm. But that same person, they may have another opportunity and sometimes um, you know, being able to 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 demonstrate how how much and, and and people don't understand the type of feedback that we get from people in these places like man there's something different about y'all y'all come in here y'all hang out but y'all don't do x y z a b and c and that it speaks it it communicates to people people look from across the room and what are them brothers on now they want to find out mm -hmm. now they begin to have a conversation now they're like Oh wow, y'all are into that. The Bible, I it's this Bible is in my pocket at all times, brother. <laughs> it's exactly. always here. The security searched me and go, Oh, yeah, that's to do with the Bible. The security gave, they gave me a hug before he said, Oh, you like you got the Bible in your pocket. I said, at all, all the time, brother, just hug me, right? <laughs> so and that 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 there's 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 a calling. We, we have to understand everybody's not called. It's the same thing, right? We have to understand that. But if we have a certain calling to, to operate in a certain way and to, and to spread light to certain people in a certain way, who are you to criticize a calling? If I'm in there, if the sister's in front of me, I'm just throwing money. All right, y'all, y'all, I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got to repent. I got, I got to turn. I got to examine myself. Mm -hmm. But I, if I'm, just, you know, like you said, I'm just in there. I'm talking aside, man. You know, we just chilling, right? 
And it's crazy because Salakia, like, literally, the video that everybody got, these women asked if they could sit by us. And we did. Ask them, sisters, did anybody disrespect them? Did anybody grope, grab them, talk to them in any way that was even remotely inappropriate? No. Never. Utmost respect for our sisters, whether they in the knowledge or not, whether they respect themselves or not. Right? right? So it's it, it's just crazy. But you hear the priest I'm gonna watch like you. Oh, I'm about to pull it out right now. Guys, right, when you when you mentioned that brother hugged you, I want to bring a precept on why he hugged you. It's something that we experience if we understand the work that we're doing. Even though we, we, when we're not even saying anything, we're not even teaching or or trying to edify. There's a there's a there's something that you know uh, the people want to see. It's kind of like how, how I believe uh, it was Elizabeth for John who's in the womb, mm -hmm. and when she heard Yahweh Shai, he leaped in the womb because there's a spiritual connection that people are looking for. Read that real quick. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 19. Yep. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. That's that's what they're they waiting on us. They're waiting on us. There's a lot of our people just waiting for where where where's that real right you know what i mean where's that real like real somebody one. where's the real one right because right. they see people playing around with this word and you know they side eye already when you got the word but when they see a real one that that he really about what you these scriptures they, you know they they gotta respect it matter of fact they are excited and they don't even know why they're excited all right they just like man you know that's what I'm talking about, and they don't they don't know one one precept from another, right. but something in their spirit says, man, that's 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 what we need, right? We need real ones that's out there, just living the life of a Hebrew Israelite, not just talking to talk, not just just not just you know talking about it, being about it, that's right. right? That speaks volumes more than anything right. else. Also, being personable, just like Yahweh said, when we started this, this class, we talked about how Yahweh said he wasn't around. He didn't make himself uh, an alien to his people. He was in the midst of his people. Well, he was in the trenches. In the, in the right. trenches. And, you know, I mean, they, the most I had that he came out of uh, Nazareth, which is was really is the hood. You know what I mean? Huh. That was by design. Huh. A design that we're going to emulate and follow today, not even by choice, just by Yah's will, he woke okay. up. He, these these great teachers is coming from the hood. They're coming right. from gangs. They're coming from, you know, different walks of life that would be shunned in in, in any other kind of establishment. And having the ability to reach back and reach to their own people, I mean, that connection, right? Making that that real connection. We could talk about they because I was there. I was in the dance hall. I know about it. I know. The difference between bounty killer and mini man, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna tell me nothing. I was there, right? I know. I I I, I witnessed the spiritual. I know what to say. I know what what you're feeling, so we could talk about it, right? Um, exactly. Right. And I'm not coming off like I'm an alien to your life because I was in your life, you know. So these things being important, that's why you know we we thought it best, you know, uh, under the watchful eye. Of our, you know, elder priest uh, Kahan, you know, you know, he thought at best we we talk about it from a perspective of, you know, responsibility, you know, from the perspective of family, you know, and how we look out, you know, you know, you, you said something. He said, you know, if I was throwing ones, and if I was engaging these women in that in a, in an off way. You would say, yeah, I was going off. But what would your family say? Because your family, if that was the case, we supposed to be lamenting, ashes on our head, facing the east, praying for uh priest Alex or that that spirit come off of what spirit is this, right? That that has captured our brother and earnestly go to the most high for you know for a, a protection or put an angel around the brother. What's going on? We should be alarmed, not like, aha, uh -huh. I knew that brother was wicked. <laughs> right? yeah, it's like, sad because a lot of brothers, they know Alan's our person. They know what time it is. 
Right. And then you'll have them say things about the strip club and all that stuff. That's crazy. Right. That means that you know, that girl always was in you. You were just always waiting for that some type of slip, yeah. some type of accusation, or some type of error so you can get that chance to say, Oh, I knew he was with you. All right. I knew he was a nigga. So now another angle. Right. We'll 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 switch it with a switch with a turn the perspective a little bit. Now you, you mentioned this, then there's that brother that is weak to that environment. And then seeing a, a brother that is considered, you know, a, a pillar of the community in that environment, he will cash that in as a sin pass, right? Well, shoot, he ain't not there. I can go out there too. That's why it's important for us to have this conversation of, okay, Instead of you looking at that 10 second video, let's have a conversation of what went down that night. Let's talk about what, how we interact. We, what do we do when we go places? Are we in the midst of that? Are we, you know, uh, 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 you know uh, interacting with the women and doing things that, you know, in a way that's um, unrighteous or unlawful, or are we able to conduct ourselves? Because a brother would say, oh, well, he was in there, I'm in there, you know, and thinking that he can now get licensed, you know what I mean? Now he, now he in the club every week, you know what I mean? Because he got his oh, one, one 10 second video of a brother that he hold a high regard in the club. Oh, sure, I'm in the club every week now. I was all in the club, I'm in the club every week, right? So that perspective is a, a responsibility that falls on us that we have to consider. Um, I have a question Yeah, what you got? Yeah, that type of brother, um, look at Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Okay, come. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 5. Done. Examine yourselves. Do what? Examine yourselves. That's right. Rather ye be in the faith. Mm -hmm. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How about Yahweh Shine and Amashiach is in you? Except ye be reprobates. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to check yourself and know if you're able to handle that type of environment. It's right. not really uh, another brother's like sole job to just say, you know, you know, you're weak, you can't go to the club. Yeah. You know, that's why the scriptures say examine yourself. And a lot of these brothers that was going into um, Paul's letters, you know, they shall pull this one up. Right. Because you should be able to check yourself and know if you're going to be able to handle it or not, or if you still need to overcome that, that yeah. type of environment. Right spirit. So yeah. you don't fall short. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's not, that's not an environment for everyone. Right. Uh, some people would, would fail, you know, in that environment. They would fail. Yeah, and, and brothers got to understand that, um, you know, you got to have a certain level of, of strength and discipline, you know, depending on certain things, especially when you deal with whatever you, whatever, whatever you're before you came in the truth that you had to shed. If an environment is a breeding ground for that type of behavior, then you probably shouldn't be in it. You see what I'm saying? Probably shouldn't be in it whatsoever until your spiritual strength, um, you know, is on that level, you know what I mean? But I know myself, you know, I'm not, I'm not coming in here trying to um, have a one night assist or not like that. that was, you know, that, that night in particular, I was ministering um, to a woman right in there who I, who I had met and um, I had met a couple of days prior and just kind of giving her a, a, an outline uh, of things. Other brothers may be in there, man, trying to, man, how do I, how do I lay with this woman? <laughs> What do I got to say to lay with this sister, right? And me, I'm not even, you know, interested in something like that. Regardless of what a sister is attractive or not, that's something sir, certain brothers can't even be around too many fine sisters because yeah. they go, go crazy and say, man, I just want to deal with everything. <laughs> Men run out of their wits, as the scriptures say. God, oh, God. So, you know, it's, it's, it's brothers have to be careful on what they do um, and what is for them and what's not for them. Understand everything ain't for you and everything ain't for me at the same time. Um, just because something is for one brother and not for another, it doesn't make the other one wrong either, though. And I think that's where people get lost. Like I, you know, we was talking to a sister last night in the truth. Um, and she was um who was in Philly before I left Philly. And uh, you know, she hadn't she seen us online. Of the Sakari camp, but she ain't really been around us. And like she know after I left, she had messed me. She was like, you know, y'all are just so down to earth. And she, she, you know, she used to be in another congregation, and you know, she had some some issues that she left just based upon the culture within the congregation. And what was so refreshing to her was, man, y'all are just so down to earth. 
You see what I'm saying? So it's it's certain spirits are are looking for certain things, and you and you can see it when you look at different congregations and go, right. well, yeah, th this type of brother or sister, they like you, know, they cleave to this congregation. It's right. it's right. it's better. It's a better fit for them. You know what I mean? And people have to recognize, and that you're not wrong if you chose this congregation over the other. You right. went where the spirit led you was a better fit for you. So in, in that same with that same concept, you just apply it to everything. The environments, the things that you do, right? People have to, you have to do what's good for you, not what's bad for you, right? If something's bad for you, some brothers, man, I know me, you know, I coming from the streets, I'm not hanging, you know, if I if I see my old homeboys, I hang out with them a little bit. I can't put them too long, man. You know what I mean? Because we, we get to hanging out too long, man. We might get to spray paint on somebody's wall. You know what I mean? <laughs> Something like that. I can't, I can't involve myself in that. You know what I mean? So, you know, you got to keep that at a minimum. Um, yeah. That that would be more of a temptation to me than you know making it rain. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no problem walking in there. But hey, the homies, man, I can't. Hey, I, we got we got to keep it about this long. Uh, Y'all gotta call me or something, man. We get to spray paint on somebody's wall, man. I done went off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, um, we all came from somewhere. You know, that's that's why the, you know he came and he got us. He fished us from wherever we was at. And uh, that's our job to continue doing that, fishing our people from wherever they're at. And um, but, you know, our behavior for when we come out of the world is something that we have to perfect. Um, uh, a statement. I'm going to talk about a statement. A statement was made. Um, uh, if 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 somebody is going to correct me. You know. Uh, if I'm going to call someone an elder or they're going to correct me, it would be priest Gahad or Minister Shalomon, right? Okay. And, you know, first and foremost, you know, I would say, you know, I, 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 you know, I'm humbled by that statement, right? To say, okay, you know, because sometimes you do this work and you, you labor and, you know, as you're learning yourself, you wonder if anybody <laughs> is paying attention, right? Um, but to understand every once in a while you hear someone say something, you're like, yeah, okay. You know, it's that kind of that, 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 that push to keep pushing, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but that statement, I, I, it's important for people to understand why you would make a statement like that. Um, because I didn't, you know, priest Gahan and, 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 and Minister Shama, we didn't come, we didn't fish you out of the world, right? Somebody, somebody somewhere brought this word to you, right? And woke you up. Because we have this thing in the truth. People say, well, that's my fruit, right? Oh, I woke this person up. Oh, you know, I'm this person's elder or whatever the case may be. But anybody that really did any real research and search in their own spirit and built their own self will understand what you mean by that. But I wanted to, out of your own words, to just shed some light on that thought pattern. Kind, of, uh, kind. Of. Well, yeah. So, so somebody had came in the live chat on a, on a video response I did, and they were like, "Well, you know, you know, you're no longer uh, under the Masharai Yasharala. So, you know, who who's going to hold you accountable? Who's going to give you counsel? What elders are going to counsel you? And and what people got to understand is first and foremost is that you know, um. You know, I'm a young man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting up there now, 31. Um, but I've, I've been in this truth since 17. You know, I've been involved with camps, active in the ministry um, since I was 20 years old, right? So I got some experience through the spirit and wisdom myself, and I got men around me, especially Dick and Akai, Captain Tazamai, the sergeants we got in the school. Um, and we, we do plenty of counsel. And, and what people have to understand is as harsh as critics as any of them think they are of us mm -hmm. internally we are much harder on ourselves than anybody external um these people just don't know it's not their business it's private councils and and we really examine matters from every angle and perspective and we scrutinize ourselves in the spirit of the most high um you know check yourself before you wreck yourself but the most high had it to where you know going back to Elder, um, going back to Elder Mathapha, being very 
adamant about me coming to the summits, right? And that goes back to the fifth summit, the one that was had in Compton, California. Mm -hmm. And at that summit, I met, you know, the elder priest Kahan. And I already had been seeing Light of Zion videos, elder priest Kahan, yourself, um, uh, brother, uh, uh, you know, the, the other Benjamin brother when he was when he was still around, you know, back in them early days um, when y'all was on the YouTube. So yeah, I already have been exact kind of a lot. So mm -hmm. I've been watching. So I already had a a, 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 a respect and an admiration automatically. But, I, you know, I remember meeting Elder Priest Kahan at that summit. And I just remember this look he had on his face when he saw me. I remember how he was looking at me. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't say a lot to me then either. He just was looking at me. He just smiling, looking at me. You know, we took a picture. And that was it. We exchanged numbers. And then, you know, that was it wasn't too much after that. But then from there, you know, he began to reach out and our relationship began to get close. And then it came time for the summit in Florida. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I, you know, I fly into Fort Lauderdale and then I really start to get acquainted with the congregation of the Light of Zion. Mm -hmm. You know, if there our relationship just grew and grew and grew and grew, you know, past any other affiliations. Um, you know, for people out there to understand, you know, you have Light Design, you have Sakari. When we get together, we don't we don't look at it like that. Mm -hmm. We don't look at it like that's Light Design and that's Sakari. We mm -hmm. look at each other like it's it's one thing, you know. And uh, so I just naturally, you know, came under you know the tutelage and the wisdom and the direction of you know, Elder Priest Kahan, and then, of course, Chief Minister Shalomah as well. Just, bro, you know, in, in, in this truth and just being Israel, being black, being Latino, being Native Indian, you know, you, you learn you have, in the world they call OGs, old heads, big homies, mm -hmm. and you have some mm -hmm. that have an agenda of their own right. that will send young men out to you know with, with with you know the pervert on proverbial suicide missions for their own enjoyment fulfillment their own agenda yeah you know just send us and you have some that really care and you have some that try to live vicariously through young men mm -hmm. and control young men so they can do what they couldn't do when they it was their time then you have some that are real that are genuine that let the young men be themselves but instilled a much needed wisdom from that gap in years right because from when y'all came in to when i came in there's a gap in years so that's all that gap in wisdom right that i don't necessarily have mm -hmm. so you're there to help guide it and that's that, that that's what i've always recognized about you know the elders of light of zion is a genuine just care to want to instill wisdom and and really help and facilitate the growth of younger brothers that's all i've ever felt that's why through everything that ever went down i'm still you know kahan and shalama them numbers is still the ones that i'm gonna call and are still the numbers that are gonna call me through any and all situations right always you know if right. i'm having listen brother no if I'm, if I'm if if i'm having issues with my ribs and we can't figure it out shalama that phone is gonna ring he know that <laughs> that's <laughs> you know what i'm saying so this because it, it, it's tried testing proven it's sound the information it's not agenda based right at whatsoever these are elder brothers that are really just sincerely interested in the betterment of this nation through the next generation of brothers that's coming up right all praises all praises and you know that that's why i, I wanted you to as a as a teaching a learning lesson because there's camps all over, right? But there's there's some elders that, you know, I mean, true blue, you know what I mean? That even I, 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 I pick up the phone and call, you know, that they're not popular. They don't have any YouTube presence. They don't have any big congregations. But I know these men from me being 17 come in the truth. I still pick up the phone and I'm like, yo, what's, you know, what's, 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 what's happening, you know, and sure. let them know what, what, what I'm seeing or how, what I'm experiencing. And we'll go and we'll go to the ultimate elder, which is the scriptures, you know what I mean? And we're going to talk about it, you know what I mean? And 
you know, it, you always leave that conversation like, okay, I'm, I'm filled now. You know what I mean? Like I, I just got like my, my, my batteries got recharged. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I go, I know what I got to do. And then I go forth and do it. And, you know, when you, when you reach a certain, you know, tenure in this truth, like you have reached now, you don't need an elder to hold your hand with every decision that you make, right? That elder comes into play, you know, as a vote of confidence or just somebody to say, hey, look, you know, consider this, you know? But ultimately, you're going to make your decision because you have reached that tenure in, in, in your work. There's some brothers that do need an elder to be watching every step they make. They're not there yet, right? That's why there's different levels to this thing. You know what I mean? If anybody went to school, you know, when you was in elementary school, you know, that teacher made sure you wrote down your notes, made sure where's your homework? Did you put it in your book bag? But if you in high school and somebody got to ask you that, something wrong with you, right? You might be lacking something up here. Something ain't, and then you go to college, listen, you're lucky to even, you're lucky if the professor even speak to you. He just let you know what assignments you got. I'll see you later, right? You, you turn them in or you don't turn them in. That's on you. You're paying for me to be here anyway. Yeah, right? exactly. You know what I mean? So that, that's your world, right? And then when you go to even higher education, now you're the one pretty much making the textbook yourself. You know, uh, anybody knows what a thesis is, you're basically writing a textbook yourself, you know what I mean, on a particular topic and the subject when you're going in for a, a doctorate or something like that. So I bring that whole pattern up to show that there's levels to to edification, understanding, knowledge, wisdom. You put the work in and you go through the different levels. Um, young brothers come in this truth. They want to be, they, they get a perception from what they see and not the reality of what it's going to take. Right. You know what I mean? They, they see they see the brethren. They see, the, oh, I can do that. I can get some brothers together. We can go on the street corner. We going to do this. It's, it's a lot more, like you said, Council, <laughs> you made me laugh when you say council because if, if if they only knew the amount of council we must do in a week just to make it to that <laughs> class or that camp or that if they know the preparation that went in there, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not pretty. You know what I mean? Uh, you ain't going to get no likes and ain't going to get no views. Sitting to watch us in council for for nine hours, you know, go okay. over a topic till we can't till the topic is uh is beat down. But I but you can see the fruit of it. So I know you guys are doing that work because you can see the fruit of it. You can see, oh yeah, these guys is in the labors, right? Ain't no way to be able to do what they're doing if they're not in the labors. Okay. There's no way they'll have the relationships they have if they wasn't in the labors, right? Okay. It only happens one way. People want it to happen another way. It doesn't happen that way. You jump out, try to do it, and you don't want to do the work, it's going to fall apart. Hmm. Right? If it's not of y'all, it's going to, it's going to come to naught. And, and, we, and we've it. seen it. We, we've see seen it. it a million times. If you've been in Israel long enough, you've seen these fly by nights. Yeah. They show up, they got, and then they go, then where are they at? I, I can I can probably write a list of a couple hundred names of brothers and go, and where are they at? Where are they Has now? Anybody Has anybody seen them? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a hallucination? <laughs> you, know <what> <laughs> you know, you would think, you know, I, you know, the years I, I have stories for days. You think it's like some, like when the Most High is done with you, like most people say they're done with the truth. No. When the Most High is done with you, he's done with you. And you never want to be in that little world. You never want to experience that. You know, um, Saul, then they lost his mind when the Most High was done with him. He went and got a witch to try to pull back up Samuel because the most High said, I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm done with you, right? Um, so we don't wish that on no brother, you know? Um, but we know that it's real. We've seen it in our days. We've saw brothers that was true. You know, you thought they would do a die Israelite. And now, you know, they in the Baptist church, you know, or they're, you know, the most High, you know, as much as he give that spirit, he will snatch it back. Right. So we got to have a responsibility. We we are rooting for one another. We are, you know, you know. At the end of the day, we can look at it like you know, I mentioned the school uh, um, scenario. Mm -hmm. You know, Sakari is one university. Light Design is another university, but 
we're all uh, historically Israelite church, uh, 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 places of education, right? You know, we we are Israelite places of education to educate our patrons that come, grow them up, you, and 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 let them be mature in the word of the Most High, build their families and whatever and have you. And the same thing I want to see for the brethren out there, families and children. I see a little ones growing up. Oh, it's exciting to see that. Like, oh man, that's. I remember when they were like this, you know what I mean? Now they stand up there like, like, you know, like, you know, so it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing to see it. It's a blessing to be a part of this, this rebuilding of a nation. We only have a short time. The scriptures say our life is like a smoke. It's like vapor. It might seem like a long time. It's a short time, right? We got a short time to get a lot of work done. We don't got time for the pettiness and for the foolishness. So. We need every way we can do to push forward, to 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 uh, encourage exhortation, as the scriptures say, till I come, you know, give attendance to exhortation and to reading and to pushing each other to do this work, to do this work. Don't worry about that. Don't let let the naysayers go ahead and let's push. Let's 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 see what the next frontier is. You know, let's see what what next abounding we can do. What more spirit we can show. Um, and I think a class like this, a, 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 a what is this, a StreamYard, and mm-hmm. is a is a technology. When Esau created StreamYard, I don't think he realized what we was going to use it for. You know, yeah. you know, it was going to be a blessing to the nation to bring brethren together to show the camaraderie. And uh-huh. so the brothers that's out there that got that my camp only spirit, they should be pricked in the heart right now. Right. Yeah, that's right. right. They should be like, damn, you know, maybe maybe we, we shouldn't have that mentality. You know what I mean? You know, there's old beefs, old beefs that cause brethren to be separated that is not even it's beefs that they don't even know about. <laughs> they don't even know about it because they pass down from their elders. There's elder beefs that's passed down to youngest that don't even know what the problem was, wasn't there. But they just know their elders don't get down with these other elders. Come, come. And they, they, ain't even, they ain't even sat up under the elders enough to have the, the background. And that's, you know, that's something, even when I was a child. Right. They would take me over to my grandma's house. Mm-hmm. I need to sit up under my grandma. I need to hear about the old. I, I need yeah. that. Right. So every stage of my life, I always wanted to be around the older people. So I can get the information that I need to arm me throughout life. Mm-hmm. Um, and some of these people, they're not even doing that. And that, that's the importance. And that's, you know, part of the relationship you know, that I have with, of course, Elder Preet Kahan and Elder uh, Chief Minister Shalomai is these are guys I know I can go to and I can soak up some good information from, you know, 1000%. Mm-hmm. Well, praise the hour, man. Hold, let me get uh, let me get some scripture. You know, uh, Sirach 4. And uh, on 11, Sirach 4 and 11. Um, you know, this is an opportunity here. Um, you know, we gonna, we, we didn't even open the phone line. We just gonna keep it right here. I know they're up in the chat and they're making comments and, and things of that sort. Um, but this information, this firepower that's on the line right now, they just gotta hear, right? They gotta hear, they gotta receive. Meditate on the things you're hearing uh, tonight, family. Uh, understand that this is this is bigger than uh, camp. This is bigger than a school. This is the nation coming back together. This is the way the Most High sought us to do this thing. He, this is His pattern, right? To re to the rebuilding of us. We you know we just a part of this, you know, this bigger picture. Read that out. The Book of Sirach, chapter four, verse eleven. Wisdom exalted her children, right, and laid hold of them that seek her, right. So wisdom exalts her children. So, you know, we're all connoisseurs of wisdom, right. right? We're all looking. We have wisdom, and we're looking for more wisdom. I don't think any of us say, "I got enough wisdom. I'm good." Right? We are always looking for that next level up. Um, as long as I've been in the Word, I'm still looking for that next level up. It's a never-ending journey, right? Um, and when I come across something, I'm still excited, just like when when I was uh, new. It's oh man, I, when that breakdown comes and it, and it, and and all them, all the the pieces fall into place in your mind. You 
you you can't if you're looking for a pen a paper you know try to record it on your phone you know what i mean you're trying to get this out because right. you know i'm about to bring this out okay that's 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 the desire for that wisdom but that wisdom then will exalt you that wisdom then will will work uh for you but it's yah's wisdom it's yah's wisdom that we all are, are grasping onto we're grasping onto the same the same source read on Verse 12. He that loveth her, loveth life. Right. The her is wisdom. You love wisdom, you're going to love life. Go ahead. And they that seek to her early mm -hmm. shall be filled with joy. Right. And don't waste time. Always seek it. Right. So, you know, there's always, like you said, sit up under an elder to seek wisdom. You know, we all got to do that, you know. And there's, 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 there's no greater thing. Even, even, even history, I mean, you know, as a as a as a as a younger brother in the truth than myself, but I've learned from uh, uh, the Hebrew, especially on that history, man. I gotta sit down and just fold my hands and just, and Crazy. just so, you know what I'm saying, and just 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 lunch on some of that stuff and be coming out like oh, this crazy boys are search this thing out for real, right? So, and you just sit there and lunch, right? You know, so it's a blessing to have great men in the midst of us. It's kind of like when David came up. He was younger than a lot of men that he was ordering. Right. He was younger than a lot of men that he was ordering. Didn't matter. The spirit was on the man. The spirit is on the man. The spirit is older than all of us. So how are we going to judge <laughs> the spirit? If you see the spirit is on the man, shut up and listen to the man. And see what you could get, what you can get out of it. Um, there's a few young brothers out here that, you know, uh, some in the Sakari, some in um, uh, FW or I. Watch me, watch me, WFI. Yeah, uh, some in SOT. Oh. So um, all around the, you know, we shouldn't be a, a, a afraid of IUIC. There's some young brothers in IUIC sharp as hell. You know what yeah. I mean? That's right. Um, I'm not going to let the old dudes beefs separate me from these young brothers right here. You know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't happening like that. You know what I mean? Because then I'm letting that happen. I'm not going to let that happen. I have to let that happen. You know, so it's a lot of times we react to other people's reactions. Oh, them brothers don't want to talk to us. Well, we don't want to talk to them. No, I'm going to talk to you. You are a young Israelite brother, regardless of what t-shirts you got on. I was around before there was any of that stuff. So that's right. Me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? You know, it, it, it's whatever. But there's some young brothers shop, you know, um, ISUPK. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, I'm not under uh, Elder Yohanna, right? But I sat under who he sat under, right? So I know his dedication. I know why he feels so dedicated. I know what, what he received that was so beautiful that he wants to uphold and keep going. You know what I mean? What 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 moved him? What moved uh, uh, Mahayman and these brothers? I know what moved them. I know what they tasted and what we what we received at One West. I was there. I know. So I get it. You know what I mean? However they approached is their approach. It's all, you know, that's, that's, that's the, but I don't look at, oh, his brother is ISUBK, you know, He's different than me. No, he's not different. He's trying to hold on to the same wisdom. He loved her just like I love her. We're all in love with this wisdom. We're all in love with these scriptures, right? At the end of the day. Read on. Um, and they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. Right. He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever she entereth, the how will bless. What? Read. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. Mm -hmm. And them and them that love Yahweh do with love. Right. And them that love her. So like and him, them that love her, Yahweh do with love. So if Yahweh love him, who am I? You know what I mean? He's obviously a lover of wisdom. He's already a lover of these scriptures. He's trying to do, like he said, no hitting the all the agendas and all that stuff. Once you get beyond that and you find that them true blue brethren that's in every camp. Right, there's agenda brothers in every camp too. You gotta be careful. We try to watch. We try to look around. We try to seek it, seek them out and move them out. Right, but you sometimes somebody might slip through. 
especially as these camps get bigger and bigger, you can't be, um, how could you say, you try to be uh, connected to every brother. Uh, it's difficult um, to, to really sup with every man, but that takes time and effort. And as his camps grow larger and larger, as the Most High keeps calling his flock back in, you know, we have more and more brethren that we have to be mindful of um, and, you know, seek for true rooted brothers that's, that with no agenda, just trying to do the will of the Most High. And that's commendable no matter what school, camp, organization you belong to. Uh, uh, and, and, and that's, that's, a lot of, that, that's a great point. And, and that's my thing, too, you know, in in this, you know, scandal that they attempted to, to manufacture is so crazy. Like br brothers are, they're doing this to brothers who are actually dedicated to the ministry. You know, right. brothers who do not put anything ahead of the ministry. You know, mm -hmm. people, people don't understand how many times I'd have had to get on my wife, one of my wives, or somebody like, "Oh, well, you got X, Y, Z. Well, that's fine. Classes at this time. Yes. That doesn't change for <laughs> anything you have going on." campus at this time that doesn't change for yeah. anything you think you need me to do yeah. and, and but why though because yeah. i know the sheep are waiting they know classes at this time on this they waiting right so people don't understand that some of these same people who are trying to tear brothers down for something that they may be in disagreements with or whatever that same brother his whole life is 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 centered around giving you some information for the most high, you know, giving you the knowledge was my understanding. So that's something people got to really take because it, it's almost disheartening sometimes when it's like, man, you know, you do this. What, what The only way you don't get disheartened is you, when you think about and go, well, wait, look how they treated him. And he still, so we still going to do it. We'll get it. Yeah. So we still going to do it. Right. But at, at least, at least help us out, you know, while we're doing it, you know, at least let's make it feel good about doing what we're doing. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, it's like you know, being parents, man. You know, um, you know, father to the fatherless. You know, that's that's the road we on. You know, and um, you know, even in your own parents, when you get older, you start to really see the sacrifices of your parents when you now are a parent. You know what I mean? And you go, wow. You know, damn, I'm never had to do had to do all this. You know, something that you ain't know they was doing. They had to do. Now you know, right? Now you know, you know. So that education comes with time and experience, you know. So, you know, we start to put this together: perspective versus reality. Bring it out, radio show. You know, we rock this show every Tuesday. You know, we don't have DJ Baruch with us today, so we just staying in the works. We just staying in the conversation, but we do have the big homie, you know, visiting with us, and we are. You know we're, we're uh, you know we're, we're excited, you know what I mean we're excited to have you here on the line with us, and you know we're gonna continue supporting the Sakari, supporting you know the Truth Music, you know supporting the bars that you guys are putting out there, um, you know and just being an example, you know being an example, and you know you mentioned a little bit about you know. Um, the Mashara, Yashara, the government of Israel, organizations, you know, you know, we make decisions, you know, um, and I want to put this out there, are uh, always towards increasing righteousness, you know what I mean? Increasing the spirit of the Most High, increasing the nation, you know, that's, that's the focus always. Um, and, you know, I know the brethren that's there, that's their focus too, you know. And, you know, sometimes getting out the way, if, if, you, if you know, just getting out of people, not every spot is for everybody, you know what I mean? Um, so you got to get out of the way, let brothers do what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Say, you know what? I think I'm hindering. Y'all do what y'all doing. I'm going to catch up. You know what I mean? I'm going to do what I'm doing over here. I'll catch it to y'all over there and see what the case may be. So take no, you know, you know, we, 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 we're excited for them brother, brothers and what they're doing. We pray that they keep pushing towards the mark. Uh, they keep doing what they're doing with, the, with the, the, the gathering of the schools and camps. We always was for that. You know, before 
in a little history lesson. Before we was Light of Zion, we was Mount Zion in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. I'm going back early 2000, like 99, 2000, up until 2005. We were Mount Zion in Brooklyn, New York. And anybody that was around in those days know Mount Zion was the one school that it didn't matter what school you belong to, you could go have Shabbat service at Mount Zion, right? The door was open. You come in and all you hear is a shalom. Come on in, take a seat. Women on that side, men on that side is whatever, right? And brothers came there from, I mean, we even had brothers, and you know, brothers might, might ridicule us for this. We've had brothers that was not even, uh, was non-New uh, uh, Testament come and sit down in the Shabbat and take Shabbat service with us, right? Because there's no denying the spirit. You know what I mean? You could you could deny what you want to deny. You could, you know, your level of knowledge of what you have, a level of knowledge of that's between you and the Father. You don't be up to this yet, that's between you and him. But you can't deny the spirit, right? So we had brothers in there that was uh, Old Testament Israelites. It didn't matter who. Praising Yah. You know what I mean? Calling these scriptures, going to the commandments, you know, even, they, you know, and we, you know, we break it down. We go to the Torah, but we go into the New Testament. We go everywhere, but they couldn't deny the spirit, right? To show you that this thing is bigger than our separations or our hangups. You know what I mean? It's way bigger than that. You know what I mean? Um, so who's to say when we stop, you know, I saw y'all begging in the door of them churches, you know, out uh, there teaching in front of those churches. I saw the video, so we go to go out in front of them churches because I've... The flock is in there. The food is in there. The food is everywhere, yeah. right? We haven't even sit down. We went to we went to church. We went to uh, what, school, what church was that? Um, that night, what church? You was with us, uh, Sam. Um, right, he was so long ago. I forgot the name. Damn, what was the name of that church? I forgot. It was a, it was a Jehovah Witness? I think so. It was like an old Jew like one, right? It was a big Jehovah Witness church. We went to some church, right? With Jehovah Witness, right? Right. Sat down there at the table with them. And reason in the scriptures, and they could not deny the spirit. Man, they all they said was, you know, thank you for, you know, they enjoyed the conversation, the class, and the scriptures. You can't deny the spirit. Right? Going into the malls too. Yeah. Right. Y'all going to the malls right. now? We're reasoning with people walking up in the malls, with little, you know, uh, <laughs> running up on Jake, running up yeah. on Jake, and, you know, getting them with a, you know, when they got the hand bags, you know, while, while Jake is holding his rib bags. You know, five <laughs> the hall. You know what I'm All right, let's go to Victoria's Secret next. Hold on, Bubba. Right? Have you considered the most high and the work and your your position with the with the, with the heavenly father, right? So I'm saying all that to say there's no one way of doing this. Um there's is many ways to, to to establish the kingdom, you know, but that's the focus. That's you know, for the family that's logged in. You know, that's the focus. That's what we're doing. We're rebuilding the nation. You can support the Sakari. You can support the Light of Zion. You can support the truth. Truth music is is making, I mean, these brothers is putting in work, right? Truth music is is, is nuts right now. I don't see why. We, we, we shot a video last night. Wait till you see this video we shot last night. Um, I was out there in Philly with the Akia man. Yeah. He shot it. I don't know if you've heard. It's a spot they got in Philly called Kensington, okay. and that's like they have. It's an open air drug market. There's no police. You just got people, just bugged yeah. out. And like that's it. It's, it's, it's like thriller. Out. Yeah, straight thriller out there. Man. And um, the song is kind of on a theme of, you know, repentance from that type of lifestyle, but also how. The word of the most high is potent. That's mm -hmm. that raw potent that we need. You know what I mean? So, man, we went down there, man. This the visuals is already looking crazy. So most high will that'll be out soon. But yeah, so like this truth music is coming, you know, yeah. on a level. We got this event uh in Atlanta. I know Akim's gonna be um a few brothers from LOZ is gonna be coming too. Um no we're gonna be, you know, doing doing some uh performance and stuff like that. And and you know, we gotta get that out there for sure. Oh, man. You know, it's 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 a responsibility. We just shot a video. What was that Sunday? Mm -hmm. Sunday we shot a video. At, you know, we had Pentecost this last Sunday, so we shot a video. <laughs> yeah. We had the fam together. You know, um, you know, it, it's a responsibility. We got to do it. 
It ain't even like it's because we want to do it. We got to do it. If we're not doing it, then we're doing the wrong thing because we can't we can't take away something without replacing it. We leave a void. We can't leave a void. You say, all right, get out, you know, stop listening to all that madness. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Cardi B and then uh, and name some of these jokers that you Meg, 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 don't forget about Meg. <laughs> Meg, the Meg. Meg and the donkey. All <laughs> the t- like, we tell them don't do that, but then what are we giving them? Yeah. We got to yeah. give you an alternative, right? We're going to take away the church, but we're going to give you these scriptures. We're going to take away the evil, but we got to give you the good, right? As we took away all these, you know, you know, you don't, you don't want to have the place swept and garnished and, and void of nothing because those evil spirits going to come back and they're going to come back stronger, right? <laughs> they're going to bring their brethren with them when they come back. So we got to fill this place with a lot of good works, yeah. right? We got to fill it. So what you bumping in the ride, if it ain't Hebrew music, what you bumping it? Uh, if it ain't uh, Bruce Speed 613, I hope y'all, br- I hope y'all bumping Bruce Speed 613 out there. You're going to be out there in the on, back, on the, uh, I hope, I hope y'all bumping Bruce Speed out there, right? I know a lot of states don't get down with the speed up, but that's that Florida <laughs> style, <Yeah. laughs> right? Bruce Speed 613, SoundCloud is full of music. Title is full of music. The music is out there. You know what I mean? Even above is that if they say in a higher, a shah, a higher, listen, the music is, listen, the music is tight work. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. If they, we're not on that religious I can't listen to your song because you're saying a higher. So what? Right? I know Hebrew. Right? Oh. <laughs> uh, Hebrew word. You know what I mean? I don't agree with you making a doctrine out of it, but hey, that's something we can sit down and reason about it at another right. at another time. Sure. Right? It's a Hebrew word. It means what it means. Right? So, just like Yahweh is a Hebrew word, and it means what it means. Right? So we could talk about that as we become more, you know, versed in our in our native tongues. So. We are at uh, 8.55, closing thoughts. That's when we do closing thoughts, you know, when we're about to wrap it in. Um, if there's some one thing that you want the family to take away from this this show and this meeting, um, what would that be? I'm going to start with my captain and captains. Captain, I'm a one, one lawyer. If there's one thing that you want the family that's logged in, checking out, to take away from this, this meeting, this show. Say, you know, we should stop talking about it and actually do what we read and quote from the scripture mm-hmm. because this is what we see in the scripture. And y'all should say, if you have an issue with your brother or you want, you know, examine the matter, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Go to him and be alone. If we did more brothers and more organizations did this, there wouldn't be you no know, super camp beefs and with no blood and crypts in the truth, right? A lot of things will be put on the table and be ironed and hashed out, and then will, there'll still be that love and that mercy that should be there, like yeah, I wish I taught us, right? So, right. That's what I'll say. Uh, all praises, all praises. Yo, yo, you, you, yo, your mic off, uh, Sam Swan. That's my engineer. He ain't on the screen, but he engineer, <laughs> but he's a captain nonetheless. So yeah. you got to talk about it. Uh, uh, All I can say is. I can't hear him. Come back as one, Zephaniah two and one, and let it be known that hey, we rock together as a family. That's that man. Put the beef behind us and let's rock forward so we can get out of this captivity. I thought, I thought, I thought. Um, getting out of captivity is what it's about. Um, you know, if I could say one thing that, that I would say, I would like the family to take away from this is that, you know what, it, it's don't allow yourself to be uh, restrained in this truth, man. Uh, examine yourself. You know, always be be your biggest critic so that when someone, when, when a situation happens or whatever happens, you you're willing to hear what, you know, correction. You're willing to hear from your family. You're willing to, to receive graciously. And as graciously as you want to receive it, you got to give it, right? How you want to receive it, that's how you got to give it. You know what I mean? Uh, we're not quick to, you know, we don't, we don't 
uh, clown uh, each other. The scriptures say, be continually around godly men that will, um, yeah, the scriptures say that they will, um, they will sorrow with you when you miscarry, right? So you got to have people that really care, right? You want people to really care, you got to really care, right? Um, you can't just be, it just can't be words, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got, you got to put effort and action behind those words. So I wanted the, the family to see that these, you know, that brothers is putting effort and action behind their words. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not just out here talking. You know what I mean? We're not, we don't just get up in the morning and take the Bible and just go talk. There's a lot of work and preparation and effort that goes into what we do. And we should salute every brother that's out there putting in our labors, you know what I mean? And, and be for their, for their gain and not for their loss. Uh, Alizar, it's on you. Yeah, Count, if I could, Captain Amor, if you give me um Romans 14 and 4, Bob Rashad. Romans 14 and 4. Who art thou that judges another man's servant to his own master? He standeth or falleth. Mm -hmm. Yea, he should be holding up. For Yahweh was able to make him stand. Okay, and, and, and that right there, you know, you got people, they, they judge another man's servant. And they don't understand that, you know, the, the master being the most high in this instance, you know, or my under the most high, may have somebody on a mission that somebody else may not necessarily be on. That's right. Who are you to judge that man's mission? You know, the most high people don't, you know, the most high has been dealing with me on a few things. It's funny, man. Um, we had a uh, uh that grand open in my in Miami, mm -hmm. and I had just turned when that happened. And and Sean and I was going the youngest of car in there. He said, Now that brother's 30, you're gonna start seeing him get his his his, his teaching, his focus is gonna start getting like to a point like a like like focused so to speak as opposed to everywhere it's what you said in in in, in the spirit i watched after you said it i watched it occur in the spirit and going the most high he's dealing with me he's showing me things and he's showing me you know um what he wants me to do as far as this ministry you know and part of it is you know rubbing shoulders with with certain of our people and mm -hmm. and kind of spreading the light in that way you know right so uh that's that's the mission that i'm on and you know everybody may not understand the mission everybody the 12 didn't even understand you how mission no, while he was home for real peter looked and said well you go now nah, that ain't gonna happen we ain't just gonna let nobody kill you mm -hmm. yeah i look get behind me satan mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so you know uh brother on a mission brothers have to be careful and like 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 chief minister shalom said we have parameters in the scriptures we have the laws, statutes, commandments, the most high gave. We function within those parameters. As long as we're not throwing those parameters out, let, let, let every brother do his mission out here, especially a brother who has already in the spirit solidified street ministry, solidified classroom ministry, solidified musical ministry mm -hmm. for the nation, you know, and, 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 and made sure that that's first and foremost and that's paramount and that's running. That machine, that train is running, mm -hmm. right? Now there may be some other missions as well in the spirit, and, and they need to be endeavored for the purpose of the awakening of the nation. So all praise you, Al-Bashim, All praises, man. And that being said, it's the Bring It Out Radio Show with the Chief Minister, Shalomar, the Captain of Captains. I'm a one, one lawyer, one oh. engineer, and in, in the, the engineer in the land, the, the technical genius of uh, Sam Shawan. And we have the big homie, in the, in the house with us, big Z, right? The big Z, the gorilla, right? You don't want to see him in a debate, you don't want to see him, right? You don't want to argue with that guy, right? Uh, you know, and shalom to all the family that's logged in. Continue to, to stay tuned to the Bring It Out radio show where we bring out the, the, the topics and the things that's affecting us as a nation. Shalom to the family, all praise to Yahweh, right? And let's get out of here. Sooner than later, all praises. Shalom. Hey, yeah. Okay. You know how that go, though? Uh, I said, you know how that go, though?
uh, since I came in, it's true. My people don't treat me the same. They love me at yeah, my worst, but now they hate what I became. I put my salvation before the money and the fame. Lost some partners on the way, but I just shot that to the game. You used to be my homie, now you act like you don't know me. You used to be my homie, now you act like you don't know me. People smile in your face, but they be wicked and they phony. Tell me who shall I feel with the 1611 on me? When I was on the corner selling drugs with the thugs, popping bottles in the club. Everybody show me love, but since I came in, it's true. My people don't treat me the same. When they see me with my fringes on, they looking at me strange. I guess they hate what I became, but I just charge it to the gang. I just stay up in my lane, and I would never be ashamed. My new 357 is my 1611, and I always keep it on me, so I'm never feeling lonely. You gon' learn, homie. My own family done turned on me. It's like I'm all alone. Yeah, I will keep me strong through this long journey. They love me more when I was wicked. We must prepare for war. This holy battle so addicted. Now they looking like what happened when they listen to me rapping. Cause I'm breaking out the truth up in the booth and still snapping. I pray that I stay focused cause my people around me hopeless. Ever since I started keeping the commandments, I just know that. Since I came in this truth, my people don't treat me the same. They love me at my worst, but now they hate what I became. I put my salvation before the money in the fame. Lost some partners on the way, but I just shot that to the game. You used to be my homie, now you act like you don't know me. You used to be my homie, now you act like you don't know me. People smile in your face, but they be wicked and they phony. Tell me who shall I feel with the 1611 on me? Uh, Lord, please protect me from my faith. Lord, please forgive me for my wicked sin.